friends uh, today we learn how to read app settings.json in asp.net code 3.1 web api project so let's start and create a new project yes we don't record web application here we select uh, yes we don't record 3.1 and api project web api project is uh, created so we have uh, app settings.json so let's add some settings here in the file and uh, in a startup.cs we have a configuration uh, property so to get sql connection string we can directly add configuration dot get connection string and here we need to add key of particular key of connection string section so here we can get connection string now the question is how to read app settings and email settings so for that let's create two new classes and then I can show you how to read those sections in controller file email settings so the here uh, we need to create a properties uh, whatever uh, keys we have available in email settings so in email setting we have from email so just we have to create properties into that particular class similarly for the app settings we have key name now in startup.cs file let's uh, do some configuration configure app settings here we have to pass app settings class just that just we have created and uh, then we have a configuration dot get section so get section we have to pass the section of app settings not json so here it's app settings same thing is for email setting class and just we get that section in assign it that's it now uh, configuration is done now let's see how to access access it into the controller so in a controller class uh, we have a constructor in a constructor we inject i options and use app settings so app option app settings similarly i options email settings option email settings now let's create uh, two new properties read only properties app setting app setting and private read only email settings email setting now let's assign this in a constructor from the injection value email setting is equal to options option email setting not value now we can access this in a action method like this key email from email email settings dot from email let's uh, add a breakpoint here and here 
now you can see that uh, we have a connection string uh, value here so we have that set up in uh, app setting.json now let's uh, run it and uh, see it in a control action method so here you can see that we uh, get app settings values using these properties that's it thank you for the watching